is studying for a BS in mathematics the way to go if I want to get a, into cryptography. Uh, I would dual major in applied math and um, computer science if you want to go into cryptography and take an undergraduate cryptography course and make sure you have a strong background in number theory and uh, make sure you have a, a strong uh, background in programming. Uh, then there are a lot of really good uh, curricula for getting a PhD in cryptography. But what often happens is people are very interested in cryptography, but then they get more interested in information security. And these are slightly different fields. So cryptography is used by information security, but information security is its own animal. So after you finish your bachelor's degree, um, you know, go for a master's program or a PhD program. Uh, in the United States, I'd say probably one of the best programs to go to is at University of Maryland. It's led by John Katz. Uh, John is a very, very smart guy. He wrote like the foundational textbook in cryptography. But there's a lot of good programs all around. Most of the top computer science schools have very solid cryptography departments. Um, MIT does, uh, you know, also um, CMU has great people, as does Stanford, as does UIUC. Uh, the tier two, tier three universities, they tend to have very strong InfoSec people because there's a big demand for that. And the NSA even helps them build and DHS helps them build assurance centers. Uh, but overall, it's um, usually lighter on the theory side. There's just not that many academic cryptographers floating around. And you have to be kind of a special animal to do that. Uh, but, you know, if uh, that's US centric in the European Union, uh, Leuven in Belgium, uh, Aris in Denmark, and uh, ETH in Zurich are both are all very, very strong departments. And um, and the UK, uh, Imperial, uh, is strong, as is UCL. And of course, University of Edinburgh, we built the group there. It's the strongest cryptocurrency group in all of Europe. Uh, and on the Asia side, uh, you know, there's some great schools in China, some good schools in Singapore and Hong Kong. And of course, Japan has some good cryptographers as well. It just kind of depends on where you live and also what you're interested in. Like, for example, if you're really interested in quantum cryptography, then you probably should swap that math side out with physics, you know, because you're going to get into that, and that's that's its own thing. Um, and uh, you know, if you're interested in security of hardware, you should probably swap that math side out with electrical engineering, for example, so you can get into that because there's all these principles that are a little different. And then there's a world of difference between applied and also theoretical. Um, if you're in the United States, another thing you can do is if as a graduate student, the NSA has a very, very good internship program and uh, they're probably the best cryptographers in the entire country. There's 40,000 of them at Fort Meade and uh, you can go and spend a summer or two working with them and turning with them and get a lot of knowledge that you wouldn't get normally as a graduate student.